doing an imitation, basically, of a beleaguered CNN anchor man out here in the hurricane in Seattle to prove a point, and that is how much I love Washington State Reds and how, despite Seattle's sogginess, Washington, Washington State Reds can show incredible depth and plumbiness and richness because the bad weather doesn't get to eastern Washington State, which is where a lot of the great Reds come from. Let me show you. Here's an example. Seven Hills Merlot. I know what you're saying, Merlot, it can't be good. No, 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 no. Don't listen to Miles and Sideways. Merlot, when done right, like when it's done from Washington State, can be very delicious. This is $20, and guess what? It has amazing depth of fruit, some sweet spice, a little bit of licorice, and even some mocha, which actually makes sense because we're not too far from the original Starbucks. I call my new book, Washington, Washington State Reds, regally robust. They show both elegance and also power. Everyone in my new book, from uh, Dan Aykroyd to Jason Priestley to the late Lynn Redgrave, loves Washington State Reds, and so do I. Please, drink it. It's a great value. You'll be drinking bravely. Mark Oldman from the flood, hurricane in Seattle, signing off. Drink bravely and push it.